guys, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to my third tutorial in the Programming 2D Pong tutorial series. In this tutorial I will be showing you how we can extend the GLFW key callback and GLFW cursor pause callback class and effectively create our own ways to handle both keyboard and mouse input into our game. Now to get started we're going to right click on the source folder and create a new package and we're going to call this package input and it's going to start with a small i and within this package we're going to right click again and click new and class and we're going to call this class keyboard input and this is going to extend the glfw key call back class and we need the extends keyword here after the class name now that's not recognized, so import the glfw key callback class from the org.lightweightjavagamelibrary.glfw package. And once that's imported, you'll see that the class name highlights as an error. And this is because we haven't implemented the methods that are required. And in this instance, it's the invoke method. Now, within this method, we are going to set a Boolean value for our keys whenever a key is held down. So basically up here we're going to create a boolean array, public static boolean array and we're going to call this keys equals new boolean and just like the journal project we're going to call it 65536 and within here we're going to do keys key equals action not equal to glfw release and for this to work we're going to have to import static org dot lightweight java game library dot glfw dot glfw dot star and that will get rid of our errors we're also going to create another method called as key down so public static boolean is key down and we're going to pass the key code in as a parameter and this will return keys key code. So what this will do is it will essentially return either true or false depending on whether a certain key is key is down is actually being pressed. And to double check this all works we're going to go back into the driver class and right up at the top we're going to create private glfw key call back and we're going to call this key callback and you'll notice this highlights as an error again so import that class again okay and just after we've created our window um, you're going to want to set our callback so glfw set key callback we're going to use our newly created window and key callback equals new and we're going to do keyboard input as that is the name we've called it in our input package and we're going to have to import that so we can use it so import that and just to check that all works we can go into the, in, the update method and just, do the, just below that we're going to write if keyboard what did we call it? We called it key callback. Now we're going to keyboard input dot is key down and we're going to pass in GL space and GL after we use. Ah, GLFW key space. Okay, and we are going to print out in the console whenever this pre whenever this space key is pressed. And to get a list of all the key codes available, you can right click open declaration and you'll find this in the glfw.class and basically it gives you the, the name for any of the keys you want to press. So it's 0 to 1 semicolon equal up, uppercase all the function keys and so on so 
that's all we need to do the keyboard input now we can move on to the mouse input so we're going to create another class within our input package and we're going to call this mouse input and this is going to extend the glfw cursor pause callback class so it extends glfw cursor pause callback and again you're going to notice that highlights is an error so import that class and then add the unimplemented methods again and in this one I am just going to print out the um, X and Y positions of the mouse um, you can choose to do a wee bit more um, yourself further down the line but in this game of Pong we don't really need much else um, so pause X X colon plus X pause plus uh, Y give a new line plus Y pause okay and again we need to go back into the main class and do private GLFW cursor pause callback And again, import that. And once we've done that, just to double check it works. Nothing happens right now um, because we've not set the cursor pause callback. So GLFW window sort callback equals new mouse. Okay, and again, import this from our input pack input package here. Okay, and that should be working now. So if we run that, you'll see in the console below that it prints out the X and Y coordinates of our mouse on the game's application. And that's all, folks. If you found this tutorial useful at all, then please leave the video a like. And if you're looking for more lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorials, then subscribe to my channel. Cheers.